It's four, almost five o'clock in the morning. And I haven't been to sleep yet. Do you guys ever have those nights when you just can't sleep? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Been like this for a while. I just, by the time I do go to bed, which is usually around one, one o'clock in the morning, I lay down, and especially here lately, because right now I live in Louisville, Kentucky, and it is really warm. It has been really, really warm here. The breeze feels so good. I'm sitting outside. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve, and I'm gonna be right here as usual. You know, it's time like this when I do miss being in Owsley County. I could walk up and see Junior and Danielle, or walk up the road a little bit, or hitchhike up the road. It's only like not even a mile, but I could get your eye with somebody I know up the road and see Johnny Ray. I had friends when I was in Boonville. <sighs> Hell, if I, was, if I would have tried hard enough, I would have had people that I at least knew when I lived on Gays Creek that I could have went and see. I'm here, and I know no one here. Now it's getting ready to be a new year, and I have nothing to show, as usual. It's completely nothing unusual. I'm worse off now than I was before. I've got no friends. No boyfriend. No nothing now. I'm stuck in a one-bedroom apartment with my grandma and my mom. My grandma gets on my nerves constantly because she's a Christian. I just fiddle fart around here. Doing nothing. Putting up with bullshit. If I had something to do during the day, somebody to see, somebody to talk to other than mom, maybe I'd be able to sleep at night. I think in the past three days I've slept combined like five hours in the combined last three days. A couple hours every day. Either that or I'm sleeping until way up in the day. And then getting up and then repeating the process over and over again. Burning up is part of the reason I couldn't sleep. I've had the air con the heater actually turned off for the past couple of nights. Just a sleepless night as usual. I'm tired of dealing with it. Having to wait. I want to get stuff done now. But I have to wait. That's all life is, is a big waiting process, period. That's all it is. That's all life is, one big wait. That's all it's been for me, anyways. Have to wait till it's the day for my appointment. Have to wait for somebody to take me somewhere. Have to wait till I have money to do things. And that's the problem, really. That's the biggest problem is just not having money. If I had money, I'd find something to do. But when you're broke, there's nothing to do. My grandma gets aggravated because I sit on the computer all the time. That's the only way I've got to talk to anybody. I don't know anybody around here. Or I used to, but I don't now. And there is no reset button for life, people. I'm sorry to tell you, but there is no reset button. God knows I wish there was. Because there is no guarantee that once you're dead, you'll be able to come back and do things differently or you'll be different. You could come back the exact same as you are if you do come back. 
that's the biggest problem. You don't know what happens once you are dead. You could just die in that bed. Anyway, wasting battery power to use the camera as a flashlight is not a good thing. I think I'll sit over here. I'm gonna sit on a brick. That wind is making it cold. And the whole time I'm probably sitting here talking, you probably can't even see me, so I don't know. You know. Or if you can see me, it's just barely. And that's another thing, like, and it, when you don't really have money to begin with, it's hard to save up money for new things. Like, I've been wanting tattoos for so long, and it's just a waiting game, waiting, waiting, waiting. I would have loved to go straight from quitting school to getting my GED, but it's the waiting 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 it's been around three years since I quit school and I'm still waiting and trying to get my GED waiting 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 I mean it's different if you've got family or you're driving yourself and you have a job or whatever there's not any jobs out there anymore that'll hire you if you don't at least have a GED that's the problem I'd like to have a job, if nothing else. I mean, that would at least get me out of the fucking apartment. I was never in the position when I was younger to have a job. I wouldn't have been able to. Hang on a second. That's just like fucking... When I was in school, my brother, my older brother, not my oldest, but my older, the middle brother... The whole time we were fucking in school, he'd get to go on trips and stuff at school, and I wouldn't be able to. Because I absolutely hate having to ask people for stuff. I fucking hate it. I, I hate having to get people to pay for stuff for me, and it's just, ugh. It's so annoying, you know? I mean, I could care less if I had a job or had a check. Either way, I'd be happy because it would be money. It's just a pain not having money. And I, have, and I have had to pay bills. I have had to do without. And it's... It gets so... Sickening. I envy people that have never had to wait and wait and wait. You know? I'm sorry I fucked up and made the mistakes I did. And it's hard putting a fake smile on every day, knowing that what you've got to look forward to is nothing. Sitting around the apartment, not having anybody to talk to but your mother. Which, I mean, okay, me and my mom are like best friends. You've seen our videos, you know this, you know. But then there's times where you need somebody else outside of your mom to talk to. You need a real, a real friend friend, you know. Somebody that's not family that you can really open up to. And I miss that so much. Which is part of just what tears me up. I miss having somebody to talk to. There's some things that I just don't want to talk to mom about. I'm just waiting for Halloween to get here again. Ten months. Ten months. I've not really got anything big planned. I want to go to a haunted house. A Halloween party. I want to be here in the city for it. I can't listen to my music here or nothing, which is driving me absolutely crazy. You know, I listen to all different kinds of music. My grandma hates my stuff. If you didn't get to complete your resolution last year, whatever it may have been, about all you can do is try harder, you know? If you've got a car and you, and you have the means to, what, uh, to do what you want to do, but you just don't, you definitely need to try harder, you know? If you're like me, and you wait, and you have to wait, find something to do while you're waiting, you know? If you, if you can, like if you at least have friends, like I don't right now, find a way to keep your mind off of it. Talk to them, hang out with them.